Really, garbage? Yes, superlative! I was worried, Lloyd. is a vast and complex place, elegantly beautiful in form, yet at times quite baffling in nature, full of mysteries, some of which confound even me. Take girls, for example. What is with them, anyway? You got me. Four eligible bachelors like us eating in a room full of girls and not one of them comes to sit with us. Meanwhile, check out Bobby Blobberson. He's having lunch with Lorna McCrater. Whoa. Whoa. And look at that. Preening microids holding claws with George Bailey. I wish someone would hold my claw. You don't have claws, Kurt. And even if you did, fat chance finding a decent girl to hold it. Hey. Well, let's face it. The ladies just don't fancy us. Never have, never will. But why? There must be an explanation. Doug. Please, you're the smart one. I think you know the explanation. It's... it's because I'm a dweeb. That's right, you're a dweeb. And though it pains me to admit it, I just might be a dweeb too. Lloyd, you're particularly dweebish. No offense. <sighs> nah, I was thinking the same thing when I looked in the mirror this morning. I'm just a slouching green dweeb. I'm not a dweeb. I'm a big dork. Same thing, man. And the sorry fact is, there ain't a girl in her right mind who would want anything to do with a bunch of dweebs like us. Hi, guys. Serenia, I'd like to introduce you to some friends of mine. Eddie, Kurt, Douglas, and Lloyd. Guys, this is Serenia. Her family just moved here from the center of the universe. Hi, how's it going? I suppose... Uh, Lloyd, uh, maybe one. I forget. Well, as usual, it's been fascinating talking with you guys. Hey, isn't that a Splatlet case? Oh, why, uh, yes, it, it is. I love the Splatlet. Band is my next class after lunch, which is our time of nutrition. Uh, uh... Well, there's the bell. Time to go. Later, see Bye-bye. Gee, that was smooth. Believe me, Serenia, they're some of the nicest guys you'll meet at Luna Vista. They're just a little shy. Oh, that's okay, Cindy. I understand exactly how they feel. <laughs> oh, Snortly, nothing stirs a passion like the timeless melodies composed by the Gax 9 supercomputer. <laughs> oh, what a catastrophic collision! My deepest apologies, I... Sirenia? Douglas? Hey, I'm the one who should apologize for bumping into you. Although, I'm glad I did. I'm kind of lost. Do you know where room three is? Room three? Goodness, this is room 17, alias the band room. Room three is far away. You better get going. Actually, would you mind carrying my books for me? I think I hurt my arm when I fell down. Carry your books for you? Yes, well, that would be the chivalrous thing, but, um, I'm afraid that if I deviated from my standard route back to my homeroom, I might be tardy, and I'm rather proud of my spotless record. Concerty tardies. Uh, what exactly were we talking about? I'd really like it if you would carry my books. Oh, Cyrenia, whatever you desire. Thanks. So, if Star Cruiser A leaves Zonton Prime at 11 a.m., heading toward the Forbidden Zone at hyperdrive speed, and Galactic Freighter B simultaneously emerges from the Forbidden Zone at hyperdrive point two, at what time will the two ships pass each other? Anyone? Perhaps there is a more relevant question, Mrs. Bolt. Two spaceships passing in the night, a timeless metaphor of love unrealized. Have we ever really considered the poor lost souls of our math problems? How they ache to meet, to love, to be swept away into the boundless dimensions of bliss itself? Douglas, did you fall down and bruise one of your lobes because you're not making a lick of sense? On top of which, you're late. I assume you have a good excuse. Sincere apologies for my tardiness, Madame Bolt. But the trip to class takes twice as long when one is walking on air. What's up with Douglas? Beats me. Like, he's all flitting about or whatever. I don't know what's gotten into you, Douglas, but if you disrupt my class one more time, you're on detention. May I bring a date? No! Now go down to the office and pick up a tardy slip. This is going on your record. If need be, Mrs. Bolt, I should gladly bear a thousand tardies on my record. Farewell! This definitely demands an explanation. Well, my friends, there is simply no denying it. I am indeed brain over heels in love with Sirenia. Sirenia? Huh? You gotta be kidding. I mean, you guys just met each other, and, well, she's kind of pretty, and you're, you know, Douglas. Nothing personal. There was a look that passed between us. It left no doubt that we are made for each other. In addition to which, she asked me to carry her books. Whoa, sounds That's pretty serious. That's beautiful. Oh, Douglas. Hi. Hello, my little dumpling. There's an empty seat at the back. You want to sit next to me? That would be dreamy. Boy, who would have figured? Douglas has a real live girlfriend. It's a miracle! So, how about that weather? The solar flares have really been acting up lately. They tend to do that this time of year. Wow, that's interesting. You sure know a lot, Douglas. I bet you're one of the smartest guys in school. Oh, well, perhaps. Hey, you know what? Maybe you could help me with my homework. What a grand idea! We'll go to the library for an afternoon of resounding homework.
homework fun. Actually, I sort of have some other stuff going on. I was hoping maybe you could do my homework for me. Do it for you? But my dear, you would be missing out on the thrill of learning. Besides, it would be unethical. I simply couldn't. I, I... I would be happy to, my sweet Sirenia. Just tell me, please. Tell me what subject I can help you with. Math, for starters. Math. Yes, Douglas. And when you're done with that, I'm sure I'll think of something else. Well, guys, there's first bell. Five minutes to class starts and Douglas still isn't here. He's probably around. Don't forget, he's got a girlfriend now. His condition has been upgraded from dweeb minus to man plus. He's not going to want to be seen hanging around with us. Maybe Douglas and Sirenia eloped. I'm so happy for them. Good morning, chums. Whoa. Whoa. Man, look at you. Your eyes are all bloodshot. Weren't you wearing those socks yesterday? What have you been up to? Eddie Lloyd, don't pry. Douglas just got back from his honeymoon. Honeymoon? Oh, someday, Kurt. But no, I was up all night doing Sirenia's homework. You were doing Sirenia's homework? Yes, well, she sort of neglected to do any homework last week and had some catching up to do. But what's a little thing like going without sleep, studying all night and writing three book reports when love is in the balance, eh? Hey? Oh, Sirenia! You know, maybe nature made us dweebs to protect us from getting overworked by girls. I guess all that really matters is our Douglas is happy. Horton. Here. Klingoid. Here. Love Tuftinian. Here. McNoggin. McNoggin. All right, where's Douglas? Here I am, Mrs. Bolt. That's two days in a row you've been tardy, Douglas. What's your excuse this time? I was fetching a candy bar from the Nutrition Quad vending machine. My lady love had missed her breakfast. <laughs> His lady love? Ew, like Brain Boy has a girlfriend? You could say that, Brittany. Although I prefer to think of her as my life partner. Aw, <laughs> oh, Douglas. If you're truly beginning a beautiful new chapter in your life, then keep it to yourself. Now go down to the office and get another tardy slip. I would gladly bear the brunt of a thousand tardy slips if it would make my woman happy. Well, if that's your attitude, then you've got lunchtime detention, too. It matters not. I shall use the time to write poetry. <laughs> All right, settle down. Moog. Here. Nebulon. Here. A tonk, a tonk, a tonk, a tonk, a tonk, a tonk. Cindy, we need your advice. It's about Douglas and Sirenia. Douglas and Sirenia? Why? What's going on with them? They're sort of hanging out together now. Ah, <sighs> uh, that's wonderful. Well, actually, we're starting to wonder if it is. She's got him doing her homework, Cindy. He could get in trouble for that. Then he got a tardy because he was out buying her a candy bar during class. So we were just wondering, with you being a girl in chunk, does this sound like a normal relationship or what? Doing her homework? Buying her candy? Sounds pretty good to me. I think it does sound a little strange. Hmm. Tell you what, I haven't seen Sirenia around, but if you like, I can find her and ask her what's going on. Oh, Thank yeah. you so right. much. I was so worried. Finally, I can eat. What a relief. I thought we were going to have to talk to her. Come on, Lloyd. Let's go meet Douglas when he gets out of detention. Thanks, Cindy. You're the greatest. Hello, lunch lady. I would like some of that gray stuff, some of that brown stuff, and some of that purple stuff, please. I'd like some of that blue stuff in the big red shirt. Hello, Kurt. Sirenia. Uh, uh, I think Cindy wants to talk to you. You better leave me here all alone so you can go find her. Oh, Cindy can wait, Kurt, because actually, I wanted to talk to you. You? Me? One tuck? Yeah, I couldn't help noticing how big and strong you are. And the main dish is just so heavy today. Would you mind carrying my tray for me? Uh, but, will you let Douglas carry your books? I can't carry your tray. That's just wrong. Please, Kurt, Douglas never has to know. Oh, Sirenia, what a dummy have been. Please, give me your tray. How nice of you to offer. All right, here we go. The flat people's theory of four-sided triangles. Get out a pencil and a whole lot of paper, because it's going to get ugly. I think it will be beautiful. Huh? Hi. Class started five minutes ago, Kurt. What's your excuse? Oh, Mrs. Bolt, how from the field of flowery words do I pick the smelliest blossoms to describe what has happened to me? You see, just now, I was with the most wonderful... Tell us, Kurt. The most wonderful what? Uh, nobody. <laughs> In fact, you're all wrong. I was by my wonderful self doing nothing at all. Great. Then walk your wonderful self down to the office and get a tardy slip. Gladly, Mrs. Bolt. La, 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 la. <laughs> Seems to be some kind of tardy bug going around. Oh, contraire, Mrs. Bolt. I'd say our friend Kurt has been bitten by the love bug. <laughs> okay, Kurt. So let me get this straight. Yesterday, all of a sudden, Douglas gets a girlfriend. <laughs> Uh-huh. And now, all of a sudden, you've got a girlfriend, too? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, 
That's so who is she? Do we know her? Maybe. I'm not telling. Why not? Because she's my top secret mystery girlfriend. I will never reveal her identity. Kurt plus Sirenia equals love? What's that doing on your book? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, Sirenia is Douglas's girlfriend. She is not. She's mine. Today in the cafeteria, she asked me to carry her tray. You didn't do it, did you? I did so. But you can't go around carrying Sirenia's tray while Douglas is carrying her books. That's just wrong. What do people say? Oh, you boys, please. The heart is a complicated bone. Someday you'll understand. Talking completed. Okay, now this has gotten really weird. And I have a bad feeling there's only one way to get to the bottom of it. We've got to talk to Sirenia, alone. According to Station, Sirenia's house should be right about here. I'm warning you, Ned. Stay away from her. Nay, Timmy, I cannot. That fair young maiden is my destiny. Take it back. Never. Oh, I suppose you're here to see Sirenia. Yes, ma'am. All right, come in. Sirenia, there's some more boys here to see you. Be down in a minute, Mom. Never a moment's rest with that girl. Just so you know, I don't approve of this one bit. Oh, who is it now? Hello, Mrs. Narcisco. My name is Kurt. You probably know me as that dreamboat your daughter's always talking about. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Um, for something. Come in, join the crowd. As I was about to say, if I were you boys, I'd turn around and head straight back out that... Oh, well, there's the phone. Excuse me, it's probably that poor, confused young man, Sirenium, at a church. So what are you guys doing here? That's what I should be asking you, Kurt, moving in on Douglas's girl. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Sirenium, it's me, Douglas. Durf! I brought your social studies paper, my love. Oh, man, if Douglas finds Kurt here like this, it'll ruin their friendship. You gotta hide. Uh, behind the chair. Hey, let go of me. No, the couch. Quick, up the airlock. But, but I wanna hide. Sorry. Phew. Lloyd? Eddie? What was that? What are you fellows doing here? Uh, looking for you. Yeah, I have a question to ask you on the other side of the station. But I can't go away. I... Hi, it's you. What are you doing here? Uh, it's about my friends. The ones who are Douglas and Kurt. Well, they're actually acting weird, and, and I demand to know why. Eddie, I completely understand where you're coming from. Have a seat, and I'll clear up everything. Cutie. Shut nod. Here. Frugblat. Here. Horton. Horton. Horton is not here, ma'am. You see, I don't think of myself as Eddie Horton anymore. Now I am Don Eduardo, king of the red-hot seventh graders. And you, Mrs. Bolt, you find yourself unable to give Eduardo a tardy, do you not? What? what in the name of... Mrs. Bolt, please don't get mad at him. He doesn't know what he's saying. Eddie, where have you been? And what's going on? Don't tell me you've fallen for Sirenia, too. But of course I have. Eduardo and Sirenia are meant for one another. Hey, don't talk about Sirenia that way. She's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? I highly recommend you take that back. Yeah, that's my future wife you're talking about. What? That does it! Well, he's fine, I do it! Do his ears to see them? Lloyd! I heard what happened. What? You mean how my best friends get detention and hate each other now? All because of a girl? Heck, half the guys in school are in there because they were skipping class and getting in fights over Sirenia. She sure is one special gal, Cindy. Thanks for introducing us. Hey, any time. I am really sorry. I had no idea this would happen. But listen, it turns out that girls from the center of the universe, like Sirenia, have special power over boys. She can send a beam out of her eyes and into his and he'll fall in love with her. He'll do anything she tells him to. A special power that shoots out of her eyes? I should have known. But at least now I know exactly how to stop her. Lloyd, Cindy's here to see you. It's nice to see you again, Cindy. Nice to see you too, Commander Nebulon. Yeah, yeah, ahoy. Cindy, what are you doing here? Well, you kind of rushed off at school yesterday. Which normally would be a breath of fresh air. It's just that you looked like you came up with a plan for stopping Sirenia. Oh, you bet I did. I'm going to track her down at school today. And just when she tries shooting those beams from her eyes and making me fall in love with her, I'm pulling out this. Oh, eek. Run, people. It's a bathroom mirror. That's right. And it's gonna bounce Sirenia's power right back into her own eyes. She'll fall in love with herself, and all her victims will be set free. Just like the magnetic maiden in Starbust's Voyage of Doom. Now, pardon me while I go settle the score. Actually, Lloyd, before you go, I think you should know I've been working on another plan. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Cindy. Nothing personal, but the last thing the guys need right now is another girl messing around with their lives. So please, leave battling Sirenia to me. You, uh, wanna rummage through his stuff? First, I want to thank all of you for coming in early today. Second, I'm really glad you found a way to put aside your differences and work together to make me happy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Sirenia, I promise to be better. For you, my dear, I, Eduardo, will do anything. <laughs> Why are you so good to me? Whatever, whatever. Listen up. 
I know that having so many boys crazy about me has been hard on you. So for your benefit, I've drawn up a schedule to help each of you know when you'll be doing things for me. Starting Monday, Lou, you'll be paying for my breakfast. Yes! Kurt, you'll be using Lou's money to buy my breakfast and bring it to my table. Oh, thank you! Which brings us to clearing away my tray. Mendel? Mendel? Hey! Why aren't you telling me what to do? Oh, oh, Lloyd, you have come to join Eduardo in his service of Cyrenia? Oh, sure, Eduardo. I'd be happy to serve Cyrenia. If she can make me... Ah! Huh? What are you doing? I'm on to you, Cyrenia. I know all about your freaky power over boys, and it's not gonna work on me. Ha-ha! Why, that's no way to treat a lady. You want us to throw him out, honey bunch? No, that's okay. I can take care of him. He <laughs> Give it up, Cyrenia. Your powers are powerless against me. You think so? Well, let's just see. Ha-ha! Keep it coming. You stepped right into my trap. What are you talking about? My mirror, you fool. It'll bounce your power right back at you. All I have to do is aim it right at your eye. So beautiful. Mm, I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. Yes, she is defeated. That is no way to talk about the future, Mrs. Kurt. Silly Lloyd, you can't make me fall in love with myself. I'm in love with myself already. No, must not look. I must resist. I, I, I just want to sing like a lovebird. Oh, Lloyd, you and your friends, you're like putty in my hands. It's because you're scared of me. When a boy thinks he's a dweeb, there's nothing more scary and mysterious to him than a pretty girl. Thank goodness for bad self-esteem. It makes boys so much easier to take advantage of. Not if he's got friends looking out for him. Drop the papers, lover girl! You are going down. Oh, look, Cyrenia, it's Cindy! Hi, Cindy! Told you he'd need our help. Stop sticking your noses where they don't belong, Cindy. Although I can understand why you'd be jealous. Ah! I'm not jealous, Cyrenia. I'm mad. I thought I was doing my friends a favor when I introduced them to you. I thought you were a really nice girl. Well, you're nothing but a creep, and you're giving the rest of us girls a bad name. Um, Pumpkin, you want us to throw her out? Don't bother. There's nothing she can do to me. Is that right? Oh, Kevin. Hi. You must be Cyrenia. Y yes that's me. I'm Kevin. I'm new in town. Maybe you could show me around? Uh, well... track am I wearing? Cindy, it worked! I'm not in love with her anymore! But how? That's what I was trying to tell you at your house! The only way to fight a girl from the center of the universe is with a boy from the center of the universe! Thanks, Kevin! Piece of cake. Come on, babe. Whatever you say. <laughs> well, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> wow, thanks, Cindy. I guess I should have listened to you. Darn right. Let's hope all you losers learned a lesson. I sure did. Kurt plus girls equals nothing but trouble. No, Kurt. Girls can be great. Cindy did save us after all. Hey, hooray! Girls really are great. Well, most of us are. Like most guys are. Yeah, maybe it's not so mysterious after all. I mean, maybe people are just people, whether they're guys or girls. You just gotta care enough about yourself to make sure whoever it is you are making friends with treats you right. Sounds like a reasonable theory. I shall have to put it to the test. Yeah, me too. Starting with you guys. I can't go to class dressed like this. So, uh, which one of you would like to treat me right by trading church with me? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Eddie, don't be such a dweeb.